It's the premiere of an all new, all mixed up. Three culinary students from the Lincoln Culinary Institute in West Palm Beach, Florida are gonna be in for a wild ride. It's gonna be intense, exciting, and dramatic. Trust me, I'm gonna make sure of that. Which culinary student can withstand the storm of the all mixed up kitchen? Let's find out. I'm your host, Ralph Pagano. Curtains up for round one. Three students from the Lincoln Culinary Institute are going to battle it out over the course of three episodes as they have to prepare three diverse dishes, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Our students will have to work with the three unique ingredients selected by our judges. It wouldn't be called all mixed up if we didn't mix it up. This has to appear in your dish, otherwise automatically, ah, ah, zero stop. Okay. Before we can get on our way, we have to find our three student challenges. With a great turnout on casting day at the Lincoln Culinary Institute, the selection committee had their hands full. But finally, the three competing students were selected, and here they are. Dolly Larkin is 20 years old and originally from West Palm Beach, Florida. 20-year-old Seth Anderson hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, and 22-year-old Sarah Arnold from West Palm Beach. Curveballs will be thrown at our students during each round, and it's up to them to overcome and to adjust to the challenges in their quest to creating the ultimate dishes. I'm choking just thinking about you eating those things. At the end, only one will emerge victorious. Every contestant is guaranteed to walk home with a Mi Allegro home appliance set designed to inspire creativity in the kitchen for special gourmet and everyday meal preparation. The winner will receive a cook and bakeware set by Americraft and a trip to the Bahamas. No competition is complete without judges. Meet the panel of three industry connoisseurs who will be awarding up to 10 stars to the students' chefs based on taste and presentation. Evan Lundy, Carnation Head of Marketing. Margaret Scatini from Organic Girl. Richard Dyer, Chief Science and Technology Officer for Domino and CNH Sugar. Each judge is representing one of the key ingredients our students will be using in their creations. When we come back, we're going to learn more about Dolly, Seth, and Sarah. You, you keep your deal. You keep your deal, no deal, no deal. And the judges will speak out for the first time. Intensity levels are rising, so stick around. Welcome back to All Mixed Up. Three culinary students are ready to compete and show what they're made of. We are searching for the all mixed up champion. Who will it be? Well, let's meet the contestants. My name is Dolly Larkins. I was born and raised in um, Palm Beach County, Florida, and I have been attending Lincoln for a year and a half now. What got me on the healthy kick was when I was overweight in my preteen to I was a senior in high school. And I ended up losing 25 pounds at the end of my senior year. I fit into my perfect prom dress. <laughs> I know this is my time to win and I am motivated to do my best. Hey, I'm Seth Anderson. I'm 20, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been going to Lincoln for a little under a year now. What brought me to Lincoln was my passion for cooking. I've always wanted to be a chef ever since I was a little kid. When I was younger, I used to do a lot of stupid stuff, but now I'm a Christian and I stand up for uh, everything that I believe in. People are gonna root for me because I love America. America should love me back. I pay my taxes. My name is Sarah Arnold and I'm 22 years old. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida and I've been at Lincoln Culinary for about six months. People kind of think I'm strange and they don't want to interact with me, I guess. Well, I started off in art school. I wanted to be an artist, but what am I going to do as an artist? So I decided mortuary school. They make a lot of money. I don't mind dead people. They're not going to complain. <laughs> but I have a fear of maggots. So I thought, food, that's the next step after cutting up dead people, cut a cake. Dolly. Yes. Seth. Sarah. Welcome to the All Mixed Up Kitchen. You're gonna be given three ingredients chosen by our judges, which are very unique to themselves. You're gonna be tested to create dishes that are flavorful, delicious, and speak a little bit about yourself. Well then, let's meet our judges. Hello students, my name is Richard Dyer and I'm the Chief Science and Technology Officer for Domino and CNH Brands. What we'd like for you to work with today is our Domino Light and CNH Light products. They're a blend of pure cane sugar along with stevia. 
So what's great about this is that you can take your current sugar, replace it with half the amount of the Domino or CNA Slide, and have half the calories or half the carbs in your products. So best of luck and great taste. Welcome students. My name is Evan Lundy and I've been with Nestle for 25 years. And over many of those years, I've been fortunate to work on Nestle Carnation Evaporated Milk. Carnation Evaporated Milk was first developed in 1899, some 114 years ago, and still today is a staple in households across America. I look forward to seeing the passion you have for cooking, and good luck, and we'll have a great time. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Margaret Scatini, and in 2007, with a small group of people, we started Organic Girl. We think salad greens can be used in many more ways besides salads. Everything we do at Organic Girl is unique, from the way we grow our organic greens and harvest, the way we gently handle and wash them. I'd also like them to be practical so that our fans at home can make the recipes themselves, and I can't wait to see which one of you will be the most creative Organic Girl. Inside of this platter, is your surprise ingredient. It's time to start cooking. Appetizer round when we come back. Welcome back to All Mixed Up. Before the break, we introduced our student chefs and our judges. All right, well, our first ingredient is Nestle Carnation low-fat evaporated milk. You're gonna have 30 minutes to prepare a recipe that's gonna really excite the judges. Ever since I saw that silver dish, I'm standing next to him thinking, what could that be? You're gonna have to incorporate this. And he presents it really fast, like pow, it's right there. Dragon fruit, surprise ingredient. Seen dragon fruit on TV, but I've never seen one in real life. 30 minutes are on the clock, and your time starts now. I'm making a wedge salad with bib lettuce, tomato, onions, and as well as the dragon fruit with a nice creamy buttermilk dressing. You like the color scheme? I'm going to be making a tomato soup with a grown-up grilled cheese. So what do you got going here? This is a puree of the dragon fruit right here that I used to make a, a dragon fruit vinaigrette with red wine, olive oil, your carnation. I'm working on the grilled cheese. I'm taking the bread, I'm putting the butter on it, and the butter is giving me such a hard time because it's cold and you can't spread cold butter, and I didn't have a butter knife, so I'm using my chef's knife and it's not really working, so I switched to my hands, and that kind of worked. It's a big mess. Let me see that again. I'll add more. Sarah's making a dragon fruit sandwich. I mean, I have no clue what that is. Can't touch me. Dolly's dish looks like she just came out of the garden and just went like, like that and threw it on the plate. Today I made for you a tomato soup and a grilled camembert, almond, and dragon fruit sandwich. The soup looks delicious as well. It actually has a great smell to it. I like the way she used the evaporated milk in the soup. It's not too creamy. Very good. I prepared a nice wedge salad with a buttermilk cream dressing. The flavor is very good. The sauce is very nice, creamy, obviously using the evaporated milk. I do think it's just a little plain. This is a, just kind of a traditional Greek salad with carnation. I made a vinaigrette using the dragon fruit. And in the batter for the calamari, I used your stevia sugar blend. It's actually quite good. Mm. Calamari is very good. Well, I like the fact that he used the baby kale, the stevia blend, and the evaporated milk throughout the dish. Call that the trifecta. Sometimes, in the kitchen, you can be handcuffed by items. You're going to be using Domino, CNH, pure cane, light, sugar stevia blend. Well, today's mystery challenge ingredient is... He opens up the pot and there's string, and I'm like, how are we supposed to cook string? I thought we had to cook it. Do a spin for me, would you? Think you like the other one. <laughs> no, right, beautiful. I don't like it, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is going on with me and Seth, absolutely not. I'm trying to get into her head, make her be in her station thinking, man, 
What was what was Seth trying to mean by that? You can help each other, or you can choose not to. Your time starts now. Let's go. Um, I'm making Vietnamese spring rolls with a cabbage salad and two dipping sauces. The dish I'm, that I'm making is fried sweet potatoes with a nice smoky honey yogurt dip. Sarah, do you mind? Uh, I didn't really want to help, but I did it not want to help at the same time. Do a fast. Check this out. Look at this game he's got going on over here. I got a pot and I put the uh, the bag of stevia on it and I'm cutting my stuff. Seth over there is like a one-armed bandit. You might want to check the fryer. I checked to see if the fryer is hot. I think somebody sabotaged me because <laughs> Seth turned on that fryer. Oh my goodness, it's not on. It worked out for the good because I grilled it. Hey, 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 you guys seem to be a pretty good team right now. You know what? Stop what you're doing. Oh, no. Stop no. what you're doing. This seems like a pretty fun show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's grab each grab a spoon and stir. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Drag hey. him away from his table. Sarah and I didn't pre-plan this. When we got through into the fire, <laughs> Thanks to whoever just pulled and got lemon juice all over me. I'm looking at the girls. Behind my back, they can do whatever they want. I'm focused on my station. Seth kind of had a little advantage, and he's just an I'm making a, uh, a tuna tartare, and I'm using a ponzu sauce to toss it in, which uses your product. Today I've made for you, I have some shrimp spring rolls and then a cabbage salad using the stevia and two sauces for you. One is peanut butter and hoisin sauce and the other one is like a fish sauce kind of sauce. It's just a little thick. Visually, it was so appealing that it was kind of a letdown. So I have grilled um, sweet potato bites and a nice honey smoky dip to go along with it. That's nice. I like the way that the, the sweet, you have the upfront sweetness, it goes away, and then you have that honey in the back of the throat kind of fill. Yeah, I think she really uh, stepped her game up on this round. I prepared a tuna tartare, which uh, features a ponzu sauce that has lemon juice and blood orange juice. It has sesame oil and your stevia product. And I watched him slice the onions, and then he diced them with one hand. They look great. It's interesting how he added in that blood orange flavor. You get that citrus flavor in the back, too. As you know, I see every dish that you make. I taste every dish that you make. Uh -huh. Each of you is going to prepare your dish using Organic Girl I Love Baby Kale. The dish that I think is the best presented is going to get an extra star. The star oh. that you get is going to be taken away from somebody else. You have 20 minutes on the clock, Ooh, and your time starts now. If I get that extra star, uh, I feel like Sarah is my greater competition right now, and I'm definitely going to take it from her. I'm making a crab cake with an Organic Girl I Heart Baby Kale and Walnut Pesto Sauce. Is there going to be any of your uh, Vietnamese heritage uh, rising through this thing? Nope, not this one. This is more my dad, the white guy. All right. <laughs> ah, freshly squeezed, baby. Freshly squeezed. Today for my appetizer, I'm gonna make a bruschetta, but um, I'm gonna go a little out of the box with it. So will the greens be the hero, or do you think the others will be the hero? The greens will be a big part in it. What annoys me most about Seth, he's a little arrogant. <laughs> he thinks he's the and he's not. I am. How many more minutes do we have? How's it going, Seth? I'm doing my thing. It's not going to be good enough, Y'all better bring it. Well, I brought you a nice, fresh baby kale and romaine salad. A very safe choice. It's still a salad. I think if anybody could really come up with a dynamite idea, I, would, I was thinking it would be Dolly. It's salad on a plate with some orange wedges around it. I used the Organic Girl I Heart Baby Kale. I made a pesto out of it with walnuts, and I put that on top of a crab cake, and I topped it with an onion apple chutney. The scale of the dish 
is too big for the plate. I was a little concerned with the kale overpower the pesto, but it really works great. I made a bruschetta, but instead of going the, tra the traditional Italian route, I use kale, honey soy sauce, mangoes, heirloom tomatoes, and onions. And on top you'll find a piece of jumbo lump crab with a red onion and cilantro garnish. I think the presentation is fabulous. It makes you really want to just take a bite. Crab meat is certainly a nice touch to the top. I thought the use of the kale was, was terrific. That's probably the best one we've had all day. Absolutely. When we come back, our judges will tell us their opinion on which culinary student made the best appetizers using the key ingredients, evaporated milk, sugar and stevia blend, and baby kale. Don't go away. The aspiring student chefs from the Lincoln Culinary Institute in West Palm Beach, Florida have prepared three different appetizers using evaporated milk, sugar and stevia blend, and baby kale. The judges have tasted their dishes and are ready to deliver the verdict. Sarah, you made us tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. The soup itself was fantastic, but I was a little disappointed with the grilled cheese. I know you tried to incorporate the dragon fruit in it. I just didn't think that those flavors went together. I loved seeing the fruit prominent in your sandwich, but the cheese that you used and the quantity just overpowered it. Sarah, I really liked the visual on your product. When you brought it out, I saw the spring rolls hit the table. I saw the yin and the yang and I was really ready to dig into it. When I cut into your spring rolls, they were a little tough, and the flavor just seemed to kind of dissipate. The spring roll was overpowered by the, the wrap on the outside, and I didn't get enough flavor from the inside. Your crab cake with the baby kale pesto um, was a fabulous idea. I really enjoyed the pesto. The only issue I had with it was that the crab cake overpowered the flavor of the pesto. The kale pesto really should have been the hero of this dish. Seth, you made us an appetizer using carnation low-fat evaporated milk and it was a calamari salad. Seth, I love that you used all three ingredients. The calamari was a little soft and there wasn't a lot of dragon fruit flavor or presence. You were a little safe on that. I know it's early in the competition, but I'd really encourage you to push your presentation and push your flavors. Seth, your 2 0, I thought was fantastic. I really enjoyed the flavor. It had a nice presentation. The dice on the onion was fantastic. So uh, your incorporation of the Domino and CNH light into it I, were absolutely perfect. The balance of the sweetness was absolutely great. I really liked it because you had kale in there, um, but I thought it had a great flavor. Um, the presentation was well done on the plate. Your bruschetta using the Organic Girls I Love Baby Kale was the best dish of the day. It was colorful, the flavor delivered, it was by far the best. I thought you did a fantastic job of taking a unique ingredient and really making it something different. Dolly, you made us a bib salad and buttermilk dressing using carnation low-fat evaporated milk. She did a really nice job making a healthy dressing, but I also still felt that it was pretty safe and a little bit plain. I have to agree, it was a very simplistic presentation, a little bit below what my expectations were for what I felt you were gonna be bringing out. Dolly, I thought that your sweet potato chips was probably the best dish up into that point, but then you outdid yourself. You took the Domino and CNH Lite and you incorporated it in your sauce, and I dipped that chip into the sauce, and I went, wow, this is absolutely great. The grilling of the sweet potatoes, I can say I've never had those, and they were delicious. Dolly, your salad using the Organic Grill I Love Baby Kale with fruit and onions probably was one of your more safe dishes. I love that you're trying to be healthy, but I just thought we could do more with it, and I found it to be too simple. I just didn't think you took it to the level that you can. Dolly, yes. Seth, Sarah, I have some totals for you. Right now, we have a tie. We have a tie of 57 stars for you, Dolly, and you, Sarah. You're both neck and neck. And Seth, you're out in the lead right now with 71 stars. Since you won the presentation panel, who would you like to take a star away from? I think that I'm gonna have to take the star from Sarah. Seth decides to take my star, but 
I can go without the star because I know all that means that I'm his biggest competition, or that's what he thinks. Okay, so here's how it stands right now. Sarah, 56 stars. Dolly, 57. And you're in the lead right now at 72. It certainly was exciting in the kitchen today, and the contestants showed us what they're made of. Hey, if you want to check out the recipes or see behind-the-scenes action, go to allmixedup.tv. Check it out next time when we move into the entree round, and one of these contestants moves closer to being the All Mixed Up champion. See you next time. I feel like it's time for them to have a female winner, but I'm not, I'm not ready to let that go. I am not intimidated by Seth. I'm not intimidated by Sarah either, because I think when it comes down to it, like especially on reality TV shows, what you have in you will come out.